Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 30th of 2021. Well, it is titled Aurora over clouds. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image from Iceland and we see a lighthouse in the foreground and up in the sky we see clouds and the aurora. Now we see the elongated clouds known as lenticular clouds stretched across the sky here. And we also see the green glow of the aurora. Now, how do you tell which is which and which areas are clouds and which areas are aurora? Well, the green color is one giveaway. But the second is that the clouds you cannot see through. So clouds are thicker material and block out the material from behind it. So when you look at the cloudy areas, you cannot see the stars behind them. Now the aurora is a glow of the atmosphere. It is formed when charged particles from the sun strike the Earth's magnetic field and funnel down around it till they strike the atmosphere, exciting oxygen atoms and excited oxygen atoms will glow in a distinct green color that we see here. But it is just a glowing of the atoms within the atmosphere. It is not actually a cloud. And you'll note uh, towards the right hand side and towards the bottom left that you can see distinctly stars with through the aurora. So except in the areas where it's a little bit brighter and just fades out the stars a little too much, we can easily see aurora th stars through the aurora, whereas we cannot see them through clouds. Now we also get the picture put together like this uh, because they are at two different levels. The aurora form very high up in the atmosphere, about about 60 miles up, whereas clouds are more like six miles up. So the clouds are much lower down, 10 times closer to the surface of Earth than the aurora. The aurora occur in the very upper reaches of the rarefied atmosphere of Earth out towards the edge of space itself, whereas clouds form much lower down where there is far more uh, water to form the clouds. Now the aurora, the green color is caused by oxygen atoms, not the oxygen molecules that we breathe, but individual oxygen atoms very far up in the atmosphere. And when those are excited by particles from the sun, they give off that distinct glow. So they are much more prominent during times of solar activity. Now right now we're just coming out of a solar minimum where the sun has not been as active this past year. And that means right now we don't have a lot of aurora. This one was seen back in 2015 back when the sun was much more active. And as we expect, the sun goes through an 11 year cycle of activity. So in several more years, the sun will increase its activity and the aurora will again be much more prominent than they are today. But of course, we do have pictures like this taken years ago to still be able to see beautiful images of the aurora within our atmosphere. So that was our picture of the day for May the 30th of 2021. It was titled Aurora over clouds. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be that's a moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.